Hi everyone, welcome to Learning is Fun with Miss. In today's lesson, we will learn about doubles and near doubles. You can use the doubles fact to help find a near doubles fact. Let's look at a doubles fact right now. Seven plus seven. We have seven red cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We add seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get 14. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Seven plus seven equals 14. Let's keep going. Seven plus eight is one more than seven plus seven. Remember we had seven red cubes and we added seven more to it to get our doubles fact. And the answer was 14. So if we have 14 here and we add one more blue block, what will we get? Hmm. Did you say 15? Yes, you are correct. Seven plus eight is 15. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Seven plus eight equals 15. Now let's look at seven plus nine. Now we know that nine is two more than seven. So seven plus nine is two more than seven plus seven. Here we have seven red cubes again, and we have our seven red cubes again to make our doubles back, which is 14. So seven plus seven is 14, and we add two more blue blocks. We get, did you say 16? Yup, you're correct. Let's find out if this is the correct answer indeed. Okay, so seven red blocks, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yes, and you saved yourself from all that counting because you knew that seven red blocks plus seven red blocks was 14, and so all you had to do was have two more spaces. So let's try to save our time when we do math by using double facts. Let's move on. Double facts, three plus three equals, hmm, did you say six? Yes, you're correct. What about five plus five? If you've said 10, you're also correct. Now let's do four plus four. Did you get eight? You're correct again. You're doing fantastic. You can use a doubles fact to help you add. We're gonna find out how in the next few slides. Let's keep going. If we had to find seven plus eight and seven plus nine using doubles, how would we do it? Well, we used our cubes in the previous slide. Now let's look at it in the equation form. Double facts, seven plus seven is 14. We know that because we counted our red cubes. In order to find seven plus eight, we will use our doubles sum, which is 14, and add one to it. We get 14 plus one, which is 15. So seven plus eight is 15. Now, in order to solve seven plus nine, we will look at our doubles facts again, and we have seven plus seven equals 14. 
We know that because we counted our red blocks. In order to find seven plus nine, we will use our double sum, which is 14, and add two to it. We get 14 plus two, and 14 plus two is 16, so seven plus nine is 16. You've been doing a great job. How about we do some practice? Pause the video and do these practice problems. Let's find the sums for the following using doubles. Six plus six, six plus seven, five plus five, five plus six, eight plus eight, eight plus nine, five plus five, Five plus seven, three plus three, three plus five, nine plus nine, nine plus ten. Take a few minutes, work out these problems. Remember to use your doubles facts, and we're going to go over the answers in a little bit. Let's see how well you did. How many did you get correct? Let's go over these answers now. Well, six plus six is our double. So we got, yep, you're right, 12. And six plus seven is 13. We add one more to our doubles fact, which is 12 plus one, we get 13. Five plus five is our doubles fact. We get 10. Five plus six is 11. All we had to do was add one more to our doubles fact and we got 11. Eight plus eight is 16. Eight plus nine is 17. Five plus five is 10. Five plus seven is 12. All we had to do was add two to our doubles fact. Five plus five is 10, 10 plus two is 12, so five plus seven is 12. Three plus three is six. Three plus five is eight. Nine plus nine is 18. Nine plus 10 is 19. Always let the doubles guide you. It makes counting a lot easier. John drew four houses. Then he drew five more houses. How many houses did John draw in all? Four plus five equals blank houses. Take a few minutes or seconds and figure out the answer we will go over this in a little bit. You can pause the video. Well, John drew four houses, and then he drew five more houses. How many houses did John draw in all? If you've used your doubles to help you, you did great. Four plus four is eight. Four plus five equals eight plus one. And four plus five equals nine because eight plus one equals nine. So there are nine houses in all. Great work. Let's keep going. Kate's dog had six puppies. Jim's dog had one more puppy than Kate's dog. Which equation shows how many puppies there are in all? So let's think about this question. Okay, let's look at the answer choices now. Six plus one equals seven. That's A. B is six plus six equals 12. C is six plus seven equals 13. 
And D is seven plus seven equals 14. Pause the video, take a few seconds, and figure this problem out, and we will go over it together in a little bit. If Kate's dog had six puppies and Jim's dog had one more puppy than Kate's dog, which equation shows how many puppies there are in all? Well, Kate's dog has six puppies. I made a table to help me understand better what's going on with the word problem. Jim's dog had six plus one puppies. How do I know that? Well, Jim's dog had one more puppy than Kate's dog. And making the table helped me see that Kate's dog had only six puppies. And if Jim's dog had one more, well, I'm going to use the plus sign and I'm going to add one more to Kate's dog's puppies, which was six to begin with. So we have for Jim's dog, six plus one, and for Kate's dog, six. What are we gonna do with these equations? Well, we have to find out how many total puppies there are in all. So using doubles, we can see that six plus six is 12, and 12 plus one equals 13. So six plus seven equals 13, and C is our correct answer. If you've selected C as your correct answer, you did a fantastic job. Great work with working with your doubles. Now, a number plus six equals 12. What is the number? Six plus a number equals 13. What is the number? Pause the video. Use your doubles to help you figure out the sums of these questions. Okay, a number plus six equals 12. What is the number? Six plus six equals 12. The number is six. Six plus a number equals 13. What is the number? Six plus seven equals 13. The number is seven. Here are our doubles facts. And we used our doubles to help us find six plus seven. So if six plus six is 12, we add one more because seven is one more than six, so six plus seven is one more than six plus six, and we got 13 as a total, and seven as our missing number. In today's lesson, we learned about doubles and near doubles. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.